Hello everyone and welcome to Infinitives. In this video, I'll discuss what infinitives are and then I'll talk about some of the common ways they are used in English. Are you ready? Okay, here we go! So, what is an infinitive? Well, an infinitive can take many different grammatical forms, but they do not function as verbs. Instead, they are used as nouns, adjectives, or adverbs. We can form them by taking the word to and adding it to the base form of a verb. For example, you can say to walk or to be. Infinitives can express an action or a state of being. For example, in number one, David wanted to be the lead singer of the band. In this case, we have the infinitive to be, and that's expressing a state of being. David wanted to be the lead singer, okay? In number two, he decided to leave early because he had to wake up early the next day. In this case, we have the infinitive to leave, and it's expressing an action. The action is he decided to leave, to go, okay? Now let's look at examples of when an infinitive is used as a noun. And this usually occurs when the infinitive is used as the direct object or the subject of a sentence. For example, I love to eat. I is the subject of the sentence and love is the verb. So do you remember my last video? How do we find the direct object? Well, once we identify what the subject is and what the verb is, then we can ask the questions who or what. So I love who? No. I love what? I love to eat. So we can see that an infinitive functions as a noun when it's the direct object of a sentence. Now let's look at another example. To help others is so important. In this case, the infinitive to help is the sentence subject. It's not the verb. The verb here is is, okay? Now we're gonna look at an example of how an infinitive is being used as an adjective. In the example, Yuka wants a pizza to eat. In this sentence, the subject is Yuka, the verb is wants, and the direct object is pizza. We also see the infinitive to eat. Hmm, what is the purpose of to eat? in this sentence? Well, it describes or gives us more information about the pizza. Yuka isn't looking for just any pizza. She's looking for a pizza to eat. So in this sentence, the infinitive functions as an adjective because it tells us more about the noun pizza. And that's what adjectives do. They give us more information about nouns. And finally, we're going to look at infinitives as adverbs. Infinitives function as adverbs when they are used to give more information about adjectives, verbs, or other adverbs in a sentence. For example, she raised her hand to ask a question. In this sentence, the infinitive to ask is modifying the verb raised, and it's giving us more information about the verb, right? 
it's saying, why did she raise her hand? Well, she raised her hand to ask a question. So I think this is a pretty good example to explain how we can use an infinitive as an adverb. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope it helped you and you may want to watch this again if you're a little bit confused yet. But anyway, thank you for watching and remember what I always say, keep practicing! See you next time!